Hello guys, welcome back to another video. In today's video, I'll be trading again with Paul Collection. And over here, I have something that you really love to say today. Um, in the next few weeks, I'll be choosing a best strategy that you can make use of for a very long time in the market. All right, so this strategy I'm going to show you today is one of the best strategy and also have a very long life in the market. I've been using it for a couple times. I've even made a video about this strategy. But still, currently, it is very effective and it is very powerful on OTC market. All right. So it's a two minute strategy with just two indicator. The first indicator I use is called Bollinger Band. And the second indicator is MSD. And this is the setup of my Bollinger Band. On the period part here, I use it at six. The deviation is 1.3. On the styles over here, and my first color right there is white. The middle is black and the bottom is white as well. And I use this as a background color. So that's all you have to do. So when you're done, you hit save. On my MSCD, um, the setup is very simple. As well. The first period here is six. The slow period here is 19. The signal period is six. On the styles over here, I only make sure I take my MSCD and signal line to be on two pixel. You don't need to change the color on this part. And when you're done, you hit save. All right. Um, like I said earlier on, we are doing this on two minute. All right, so we are taking a trade on two minute, and of course, with our candle time frame, we are also using two minute um, candle time frame, and of course, Henneke Ashi candlestick. That's all the setup you need to do. So when you're done, you hit set. So that's it. So how the strategy work is very simple. I'm going to show you when I enter a trade. Um, another thing is that in today's video, I'm going to show you how I analyze market as well. I see a lot of people has been asking that. Um, in today's video, I'm going to show you how I analyze in the market, what I see before I enter a trade and what I see for me not to enter a trade, even though my indicator is giving me an option to do that. All right. So right now I'll be putting up my currency pair up. So over here I have um, this currency pair up. So it means that those are the currency pair I'm willing to trade on today and before i start analyzing the market the number one thing i make sure that i put up are the best currency pair up that i think are good for me to trade on so that's the number one thing the second thing is the time i trade i used to tell you most of the time that i trade around nine o'clock in the morning to 12 um, p.m in the afternoon gmt time all right so these are the best time for me to trade and that's the reason why i always trade within those hours. All right, so after I've set up my currency pair up and also for trading on the best time I usually trade, then the next thing for me is to analyze the market. So I'm going to show you how I do that. To analyze in the market, I'm going to choose first currency pair right here and see what is happening in the market. All right, so over here, I'm going to check the last few candlesticks that has been generated to be very certain if this particular currency pairs are stable, all right? If they are good for me to enter a trade on, the number one thing I go um, a little bit um, far to the back and see what this currency pair has been doing. As you can see, this currency pair is a pretty much uh, what's it called good for me to enter a trade on because when you check, you can see that there's a stability in the market a little bit. And there are times or where that we have a lot of choppy candlestick. But when you check, most of the time we have a very strong stability in the market. So this is what I usually look out. I make sure that I look out this steady um, candlestick that has been generated. And also I make sure I look out the ones that are not good. So when you're finding something like this in the market, when you're finding a lot of um, small candlestick or choppy candlestick, that should tell you that that particular currency pair is not that really okay. But at the same time, if you're able to have a lot of stable candlestick, like something like this, a very strong candlestick, then it means that you can still check out on that currency pair. Um, what I usually do is that I go back as far as one hour to check um, how this currency pair has been doing to be very certain if it is something I can trade on. All right, because mostly in the market, what happened in the past does affect um, the current market so you always need to check and see the stability of the candlestick you're placing your trade on before you enter a trade so on that currency pair if you're finding a lot of choppy candlestick or smallish candlestick if they are more than the um the stable ones i would advise you not to take a trade at all on that particular pair. but as you can see on this particular pair, this is still very much stable and then we can take a trade so this is how you analyze the market the most important thing is to check the currency pair you want to use and be certain that the currency pair are stable in the market. All right, so that's the number one thing. So right now, let me put up my strategy and check this out. 
Okay, this is actually not a good moment. I used to say that before you enter a trade, the number one thing is to always make sure that the candlestick you're placing your trade on is giving you a strong confirmation of either a downtrend or an uptrend. Um, but currently, this candlestick is not doing that. So let's go and check this out again. So I'm going to do the same. Go back and check the last few candlesticks. As you can see, uh, um, we have a very strong um, stability in the market on this PS, as you can see. All right. So after you check, you go back and then see what is happening okay right here i'm having a good moment i'm going to enter a trade on this and i'm going to explain this strategy now how it works all right so how this strategy works is very simple the number one thing is to always make sure that you have a two confirmation before you enter a trade the first confirmation is to make sure that your candlestick actually breach below the bollinger band make sure that the particular candlestick you place your trade on is actually and come below the downline of this Bollinger Band. I'm talking about the white line here. Make sure that you have the candlestick bridge below it before you enter a trade. And the second thing, your candlestick must be strong. All right, you can see that over here, I have a very strong candlestick. So number one thing, make sure that that candlestick is strong and it's actually bridge below your Bollinger Band right there. The second thing is with your MSD, the both line of your MSD needs to intersect above the signal bar of the MSD. All right, make sure that the green and the red crosses each other and the both line is actually giving you a downtrend confirmation before you enter a trade. It's a very simple strategy, guys. It's very, very simple. All right. Always make sure that you're only placing your trade on a very strong candlestick. And of course, the confirmation of your bot line of the MSCD must happen. The intersection of the bot line must happen and they must be giving you a confirmation of a strong downtrend. So guys, let's wait and see. We have like seven seconds left. All right, guys, a good one there. When the money and that, all right. That's a very good one here, guys. Let me keep checking. Okay, guys, over here, I'm checking this out. As you can see right here, the last candlestick right here actually bridge below. But I'm still waiting for it to come down a little bit. And also with our MSCD, the boot line just intersect each other above the signal bar here, giving us a confirmation of a downtrend. This is actually a perfect moment. Okay, I'm going to enter this trade real quick. All right. So this is very perfect moment. Always make sure that the candlestick you're placing your trade on is very stable. Is the number one um, rule of this strategy. Make sure that the candlestick is strong and stable. All right, do not enter the trade when the candlestick is choppy or it's in a reverse position. And the second thing is to make sure that you have it below the Bollinger Band, the last line of the Bollinger Band right there before you enter the trade. It's very important. And the second thing is with your MSD, the bot line is to intersect each order in a very strong over bot condition above the signal bar of the MSD. And the bot line is to be giving you a confirmation of a downtrend. So guys, let's wait and see if this is gonna be a good one. We have like um okay, we have like a minute and nine seconds. All right, guys, we have less than six seconds. A good one. With the money and that. So guys, I hope you understand. This is actually a perfect moment. All right, so let's keep analyzing. Okay, guys, over here I'm finding a moment for an up trade. Let me enter a trade on that. So anytime you're going for an up trade, it's very important that you're doing the same thing. The first thing is to make sure that the candlestick you're placing your trade on is very strong. And the second thing is to make sure that the candlestick actually breach above the first line of your Bollinger Band. You know, the last time you have it below, but this time around, you need to have it above it. Make sure that it's breach above the um, first line, the first white line of the Bollinger Band. So the second thing is with your MSD, this time around, you need to have the intersection happen below the signal bar of the MSD. The boat line is to cross each other and the boat line is to be giving you an uptrend confirmation before you enter a trade. I hope you understand. So guys, let's wait and see if this is going to be a good one. We have like a minute and 11 seconds left. All right, guys, we have like um six seconds to close the trade. A good one there. And the money in that. I think I'll be taking my last trade. Okay, guys, so right here I'm finding a good moment. I'm going to enter a trade on this um, real quick. As you can see right here, the last candlestick right there, bridge 
below my Ambolinga band indicator. All right. With my MS study, the intersection happened twice. It happened here and it also happened here. But the major thing is that we are having a very strong downtrend confirmation with uh, the MS study. So this is actually a perfect moment. So that's the reason why I placed the trade. So guys, let's wait and see if this is going to be a good one. We have like a minute and 30 seconds left. All right. All right, guys, we have less than five seconds. A good one there, guys. When the money on that guy, this is where I'm gonna stop on today's video. I hope you actually understand how it works, and I hope you understand how I analyze as well. I can't analyze all the time because it's going to be very long. If I want to make such video, the video can take up to one hour because sometimes I analyze 20 to 30 minutes on each trade I take. So if I want to make such video, it's going to be very long. So, but I hope you understand how I analyze. So that is pretty much what I do. The number one thing, put up the nice coins to pay up. The second thing is to make sure that you're trading on a very stable time. Make sure that the time you're trading, the market is very stable. And the third thing is to check what has happened on a particular currency pair. So if you're not good with that, you can just remove the pairs and then you check another one. And when you have a perfect confirmation of a stable trend on that particular pairs, you can go ahead and start trading with the pairs. I hope you understand. So guys, this is where I'm gonna stop on today's video. If you like the video, please give me a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and make sure you turn on the notification bell so that you don't miss out on my next upload. I love you guys and I'll see you on the next one.